Hey everyone, I'm Efren Barraza, Service Manager at Laboratory Instrument Specialists. Here at LIS, we service and sell various laboratory equipment, such as the MB90 here. You can find a wider variety of instruments we service and sell on the website at lissci.com. Link will be down in the description. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the MB90, giving you a list of important specs, as well as showing you how to properly calibrate both the scale and temperature as well as how to properly test a liquid food sample. Let's get into it. This is the Old House MB90, weighing in at 11 and a half pounds, measures 14 inches deep, eight inches wide, and seven inches in height. This unit uses a halogen heating source and its temperature ranges from 40 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. The maximum weight capacity of the scale is 90 grams and it holds nine centimeter aluminum dishes. The MB90 can read one one hundredth of a percentage per one milligram sample. This unit is a big step up from the MB23 and MB27 and is similar to the MB120 minus a couple features. You now have a touchscreen which will make navigating menus much simpler and faster. We can now store testing methodologies and result data. The MB90 can hold two different drying methods and 100 test results. To properly calibrate the instrument, you will need a precision calibration weight kit and a temperature calibration tool. Both items are sold on our website and the links will be down in the description. The MB90 is extremely simple to calibrate. For weight calibration, just tap the little wrench up at the top of the screen. This is the settings menu. Tap on adjustments, weight adjustments, and now you can follow the on-screen instructions. Remove the pan and then hit the start button. You'll now need the weight calibration tool. Place the 50 gram weight on the scale. It will take a few seconds to complete this step. Unload the weight when prompted and the calibration results and any adjustments weight will be shown on the screen. To verify that the scale is accurately calibrated, close the lid to automatically tear and zero out the scale. Then place the 50 gram weight back onto the scale. It should read exactly 50 gram. Now for the temperature calibration. We'll do the same thing by going to the settings menu. Go into adjustments. This time we want temperature adjustment. Again, there will be some on-screen instructions, so we'll follow those steps given. Remove the pan holder, and now we get to use our temperature kit. Just place that in the center of the instrument. Close the cover and hit start. The temperature will now be calibrated at two set points, 100 and 160 degrees Celsius. Both tests will take 15 minutes to complete and once completed, you will have an additional 15 minutes to input the temperature reading of the calibrator by looking through the vent on the top of the lid. Once both tests are done, you'll be shown the complete temperature adjustment readings. Hit exit and now we're ready to begin testing on samples. Do keep in mind that to keep test results consistent, I highly recommend there be a set standard operating procedure in place, meaning you do the exact same steps to test every different variety group of samples you have to ensure the most accurate test results. For this test, we'll be using an egg. The best way to sample test an egg is to blend it into a liquid prior to adding it into your sample pan. We already have our test sample blended here. We'll start the test by doing a typical pan setup and tearing. Place an aluminum dish along with the glass fiber sample pad onto the scale. Close the lid and the unit would automatically begin tearing to zero out the weight of the sample pan and pad. When the tearing is done, open the lid. Now we'll apply our blended egg mixture onto the sample pad. Try to apply a consistent amount of sample for every test you'll be running to keep testing results accurate and consistent. Now close the lid and the test would automatically begin. This specific test should take anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. And since we have the switch off criteria set to auto, the instrument itself will determine any fluctuation in weight change over a certain period. Once it stops detecting weight change is when the test will be completed. Once the test is done, the results will be displayed on the front panel and automatically stored in the database. 
If you need to check previous testing results, tap on the notepad and pen icon. To achieve optimal testing results, I highly encourage to clean out the instrument of any spilled debris or after every test, especially when testing on dry food samples, where debris can easily get into the crevices of the device. Remove and dispose of the sample. Remove the pan holder. Remove the air shield. You can also remove the chamber from the body. With a clean wipe or brush, clean out the remaining debris. Now just reassemble all the pieces back together Apply a new sample dish and you're ready to start the next test. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If your lab equipment needs servicing, contact us at info at lissci.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to check out more videos on the lab equipment we service and sell here at LIS, check out our channel and make sure to subscribe for future videos. As always, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.